Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. Last video I have explained you the theory regarding duality. Dual in linear programming problem. And now in this video I am going to solve three problems. How to convert an original primal problem into dual problem. So actually dual problem is nothing but the image problem of the original linear programming problem. So every LPP will have an image problem that image problem is called dual problem so we can treat any problem as primal the image of that primal will be a dual problem so this dual, uh, dual concept will be applied whenever we have more constraints in order to reduce the time in order easily calculate the solution of a primal problem we convert the primal into dual and we get the solution of primal as well as dual the speciality of the simplex method is by solving primal problem we can get the dual problem or by solving the dual problem we can get the primal, pro primal solution. So that is the advantage of using duality. So all these things I have already explained in the last video. So if you have not watched I suggest you go to the playlist of my channel. Select the subject operation research. Select the video of linear programming dual problems. Then go to, I mean, watch the complete uh, video. You will get the complete command on the theory of uh, duality. And in examination, apart from problems, they will frequently ask you the theory question regarding what is dual problem, how it is formulated, how it is solved, what is the economic interpretation of this dual problem. So before starting the 10th problem, before starting the 10th problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Take the screenshot of the points which I have written, then I will explain every problem. See the 10th problem. Obtain the dual of minimize z is equal to 16x1 plus 9x2 plus 21x3 subject to x1 plus x2 plus 3x3 is greater than or equal to 16. 2x1 plus x2 plus x3 greater than or equal to 12. And all the variables x1, x2, x3 greater than or equal to 0. This is called non-negativity restriction. In the problem, original problem is given, that is primal problem. And we have to convert that primal problem into dual problem. This is the primal problem. Obtain the dual of, minimize z, this is the objective function. Subject to constraints, two constraints are there and three variables are there, x1, x2, x3, not dual. In the previous theory video, I have explained you how to convert. First of all, the objective fun function will become opposite. Here in primal problem, the objective is minimize. So now it will become maximize. Minimize will become maximize. Now objective function, the, the constraints, the constraints, uh, the restriction of the constraints, sorry, the restriction of the constraints will become coefficient of objective function. What is the restriction of constraint here? 16 and 12. This is the constraint and this is the restriction. So 16 and 12 are the restriction of constraint in the primal. This will become the coefficient of objective function. Coefficient of objective function. Here objective function maximize z is equal to 16 y1 because already x1 and x2, x3 are the variables in primal. Now we cannot make use x1, x2, x3. We have to give a separate, I mean, symbol. So we are giving y1 and y2. So 16 y1 plus 12 y2. Objective function over. So first rule, convert the minimization problem into maximization problem. Secondly, the coefficient of objective function in dual are the restriction of the constraint of primal. Restriction of constraint of primal. So 16y1 plus 12y2. Objective function over. Now we'll come to subject to constraints. 
the coefficient of variable will remain same but the only thing is vertical will become horizontal or horizontal will become vertical like here vertical if you say 1x1 2x2 vertically this vertical will become horizontal so 1x1 and 2x1 so what we take is y1 plus 2y2 this vertical is 1 and 2 so here also I am taking 1 and 2 but vertical, horizontally I am taking here it is vertical now second 1x2 and 1x2 so this is vertical now I am making horizontal y1 plus y2 third vertical 3x1 1x3 3x3 1x3 so 3 and 1 so 3y1 plus y2 right is less than here the constraints are greater than equal to this greater than equal to will be converted into less than equal to here less than equal to one point the number of variables will be equal to the number of constraints already in the theory video I have explained the number of variables in primal will be equal to the number of constraints in the dual so how many variables are there x1 x2 x3 three variables are there. so here now we have three constraint this is the first constraint this is the second constraint and this is the third constraint now restriction of dual are the coefficient of objective function of primal coefficient of objective function of primal this is the primal what are the coefficient 16 9 21 16 9 21 this is greater than now it has become less than that's all the variables are y1 and y2 only two variables the number of restrictions in primal will be equal to the number of variables in dual so how many restrictions here two constraints are two so here variables are two y1 and y2 this is the first problem how to convert the primal into dual right very easy to convert everything will become opposite right? now one more problem will make the point more clear 11th problem obtain the dwell of maximize actually original primal problem is maximization the dwell problem will become minimization the maximize z is equal to 20 x1 plus 30 x2 subject to constraint x1 plus 2 x2 less than equal to 20 x1 plus x2 less than equal to 12 5x1 plus x2 less than equal to 40 and x1 x2 x3 is greater than equal to 0 this is the primal problem obtain 20x1 plus 30x2 how many variables do we have two variables x1 and x2 the number of variables is equal to number of constraints in dual in dual we have three constraint right and how many constraints are there here one two three constraints are there so here we will have three variables y1 y2 y3 in dual right so, so primal problem maximize z is equal to 20 x1 plus 30 x2 subject to constraint x1 plus 2 x2 less than equal to 20 x1 plus x2 less than equal to 12 5 x1 plus x2 less than equal to 40 x1 x2 greater than or equal to 0 this is the original problem primal problem now we are required to convert this primal problem into dual problem so here dual problem objective function first of all maximize will become minimize right now the coefficient of dual will be the restriction of primal the coefficient of dual will be the restriction of primal when you watch the video i suggest you always keep a notebook pen calculator ready whenever i explain something important something new immediately you should write it down then only you can be able to understand you can be able to remember and confidence you will gain so here the coefficient the sorry the restriction the these are the restriction 20 12 40 are the restriction these restriction will become the coefficient of objective function coefficient of objective function these are 
20y1 plus 12y2 plus 40y3. That's it. These restrictions are over. This will become coefficient of objective function. Now subject to constraint. In the constraint, vertical will become horizontal. The coefficient remains same. The coefficient will remain same. But the only thing is vertical will become horizontal. What is the coefficient here? 1x1, 1x1, 5x1. So 1, 1, 5. This is vertical. Now we make it horizontal. y1 plus y2 plus 5y3. Here 5 is there. So vertical will become horizontal. y1 plus y2 plus 5y3. Here less than. Less than will become greater than. Right? Similarly, second column. 2x2, 1x2, 1x2. That means 2, 1, 1. 2, 1, 1 is vertical. Now I am making horizontal. So 2y1 plus 1y2 plus 1y3. Greater than equal to. The restriction are the coefficient of objective function of primal. Coefficient of objective function of primal. So primal coefficient. What are the coefficient here? 20 and 30. This 20 and 30 will become restriction of dual. And ultimately, the variables y1 and y2 should be greater than equal to 0. Non-negativity function. Remember, number of constraints will be equal to number of variables. How many constraints are there? 1, 2, 3. 3 constraints are there. So here we have 3 variables. y1, y2, y3. How many, const how many uh, I mean, variables we have? 2 variables x1 and x2 two variables so two variables in primal will become two constraints in dual this is the first constraint and this is the second constraint in this way we can convert the primal into dual one more problem i'll explain how to convert the primal into dual problem number 12 obtain the dual of the so one primal problem is given Maximize z is equal to 5x1 plus 3x2. Subject to constraints are x1 plus x2 less than equal to 2. 5x1 plus 2x2 less than equal to 10. 3x1 plus 8x2 less than equal to 12. And x1, x2, x3 greater than equal to 0. This is the primal problem. As it is, how we have done 10th and 11th problem, 12th also same. So here, Obtain the dwell of the primal problem is obtain uh, maximize the original problem is maximization the dwell problem will be minimization to maximize z is equal to 5x1 plus 3x2 subject to constraint x1 plus x2 less than equal to 2 5x1 plus 2x2 less than equal to 10 3x1 plus 8x2 less than equal to uh, 12 and x1, x2, x3 greater than or equal to 0. This is the original problem, primal problem. Now we have to convert into dual form. Number of variables will become number of constraints. How many variables are there? x1, x2. Two variables. Now we will have two constraints in dual. How many constraints are there? Three constraints. One, two, three. Number of constraints will become number of variables. What are the variables? y1, y2, y3. Three variables. Maximization problem will become minimization problem, right? So dual problem objective function minimize because here it is maximize minimize. The restriction of primal will become coefficient of objective of dual. Coefficient of objective function of dual. What are the restriction here? 2, 10, 12. This 2, 10, 12 are the restriction of primal. This will become the coefficient of dual. Coefficient of objective function of dual. The objective function 2y1 plus 10y2 plus 12y3. That's all. Objective function finished. Secondly, constraints. Vertical coefficient will become horizontal coefficient. Here you can see 1x1, 5x1, 3x1. So for x1, the coefficient are 1, 5, 3. 1, 5, 3 is in vertical form. Now we make it in horizontal form. So y1 plus 5y2 plus 3y3. y1 plus 5y2 plus 3y3. Right? 
Now here less than equal to. So now it will become greater than equal to. Right? And next one. Vertically 1x2, 2x2, 8x2. So vertically coefficients are 1, 2, 8. So y1 plus 2y2 plus 8y3. Now rest, uh, inequality. Here it is less than equal to. So now it will become greater than equal to. Now restriction are the coefficient of objective function of primal. Coefficient of objective function of primal. So what are the coefficient 5 and 3? Here also 5 and 3. Greater than equal to 5 and 3. And ultimately all the variables y1, y2, y3 should be greater than equal to 0. That's all. So in this video three problems I have taken. All the three problems are simply on converting the primal problem into dual problem. We have not solved. In the next video I am taking up one problem where we have to convert the primal problem into dual problem and then solve the dual problem to get the solution of dual as well as primal. So practically I am going to explain you how we can get the solution of primal by solving the dual. By solving the dual we can get the solution of primal also. That is the advantage of simplex method. So inshallah we will continue the next problem in the next video.